Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Angela Constance cuts a rather pathetic figure, doesn't she? Apart from the weird clothes she likes to wear, which are fine. I'm not here to discuss her sartorial elegance. But uh, she does kind of come across as a bit of a loon in that sort of way. And uh, it can also be seen that she's a bit of a loon when it comes to all the failures. Because they're never her failures. It's never her fault. She's incapable of failing, don't you know? And so indeed is the SNP government, because all their failures are not their fault either, even when it is entirely devolved matters like law, justice and prisons, things like that. Well, she is now blaming the failure of uh, the Inverness prison, which um, has a £139.5 million budget, and it's going to skyrocket way, way past that. And there's huge delays in building it and there are many other problems uh, with it. And of course, it's not the fact that Shona Robinson has cut the budget for it. It's not the fact that they keep spending money on, in uh, on uh, independence rather than on infrastructure. It's none of that. It's not the fact that they keep appointing complete morons into positions of authority. No, 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 no. Whose fault is it? Well, it's the UK government, it's Westminster and of course it's Brexit. Because Brexit had such a major effect on prisons in Scotland. Somehow. Maybe. Let's have a look. Now, it is very hard to be taken seriously uh, when you are dressing like you're going to a rave and you're colouring your hair purple and things like that. Which Angela, of course, has been known to do. Uh, there's no sort of professionalism there. And so why should anyone take her seriously? You want to dress like that, you know, fine, dress like that. But don't walk into the boardroom looking like you've just come straight off a commune. But uh, uh, that's Angela, that's Angela, Pre uh, Angela Pleasance, I was going to say, Angela Constance for you. Um, but uh, SNP minister blames the UK government and Brexit for delays to New Highland Prison, with costs set to skyrocket. Not her fault, of course, she's only the woman in charge. Not Shona's fault, of course. She's only the one who's cut the budget. Nobody's fault. It's Westminster, isn't it? It's always Westminster. Because the SNP are quite incapable of screwing up repeatedly, constantly, for 17 years. Scottish Government Justice Secretary Angela Constance blamed everyone but her own SNP executive for more delays to the flagship Inverness prison. As she admitted, costs will rise further than the £139.5 million budget. Because of course they will. They were always going to. This is the SNP we're talking about. They're never on time, are they? But you can be on time if you hit that subscribe button, because then you'll never miss a video. So do help the channel and let's get that out. There, got my message out. Anyway, the Scottish Government's Justice Secretary blamed Brexit and Westminster. Because, you know, let's spread the blame uh, for her failure to keep the cost down for a brand new super prison, which is scheduled to be built in Inverness. Constance confirmed that the construction of HMP Highland is likely to be delayed and the price expected to increase. Well, God damn it, did we ever expect anything other? Hey, eh? colour me surprised. The SNP getting something wrong again. It's going to be a lot more and it's going to take a lot longer, just like every other project. I'll be dead before the A9 is duelled. I'll be dead before this prison is built. Unbelievable, isn't it? Anyway, building of the flagship jail was supposed to be finished in 2020. So, running a bit late. Might have to put a bit of overtime in this weekend. But the development was suspended due to a shortage of cash, with this money instead being diverted to HM Prison Glasgow, which is also over budget by over £300 million. Unbelievable, isn't it? How is anyone this inept still allowed to be in charge? Anyway, HMP Highland is not now expected to open until summer 2025. I would suggest summer 4045. And I mean 4045. It'll never open in my lifetime. It's, it's just horrendous, isn't it? Uh, anyway, the costs previously rising to 139 million from a 98 million pound original budget uh, are now expected to be even higher. It will more than double. It's going to be, by the time it's done, it will more than double. Uh, but Miss Constance confirmed at Holyrood that the true price will probably be higher, much higher, and that it is like, unlikely to be completed next year. Pah, 
not a chance. She admitted the government does not anticipate it will remain within budget and it may not be ready until 2026. Ten years on top of that. Minimum. And within budget, half a billion pounds by the time it's finished. Guarantee it. Half a billion. 500 million pounds. And who's paying for all this? You are. And why? Because the SNP are an inept, incompetent bunch of tossers who couldn't operate a whelk stall, let alone run an economy. Anyway, it's just the latest SNP executive infrastructure project to spiral out of control. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Uh, with the aforementioned HMP Barlini, costs skyrocketing, as mentioned, and the two ferries at Fergus Marine going to be sailed once straight into the scrapyard. And this, as the government struggles, with a £1.5 billion black hole. And if you think it's £1.5 billion, think again. It's going to be way more than that. They're only admitting to £1.5 billion because the true figure is so much higher. Uh, the new HMP Highland is meant to be one of the greenest prisons in the UK. Do we care? No. Uh, with the likes of ground source heat pumps, wind turbines and solar electric panels included in the design. Oh, well, that's just super then. You know, they'll freeze in their cells because it'll be cold because the heat pumps are rubbish. And uh, you're in Scotland. Solar electricity. Hey, what a great idea. On the four days of the year that the sun shines in the Highlands. Uh, anyway, it, I know it's more than that. But even so, it, it ain't great, is it? Anyway, it's set to hold 200 offenders. Wow. Think about this. 200 offenders in a, in a, in a thing that's going to cost at least 200 million. That's a million pounds each. A million pounds each. Are you kidding? You could lock them in a hotel room. And I mean, you could, you could, listen, for two million, for, you could put them into the Savoy for less than that. Unbelievable, isn't it? Um, anyway, it will replace the outdated and overcrowded HMP in Vaness, which was also labelled out of date in its most recent inspection. And indeed, the problem with the uh, Scottish prison service is it's so bad now that countries are refusing to extradite to prison because they see the Scottish prison system as being cruel and unusual and verging, verging on torture. Ireland wouldn't send a prisoner over because they deemed it would be torture and therefore it was against Irish law. That's how bad it is, but that's the SNP. Uh, responding in Holyrood to a question from Highlands and Islands MSP Edward Mountain, Miss Constance said the Scottish prison service is making progress on new state-of-the-art prisons. However, like many large-scale capital projects, it continues to face supply chain and labour market challenges. No, it doesn't. The supply chain is quite healthy, thank you. Everyone would be willing to sell you as much bricks and mortar as you like. So that's a lie. And the labour market? There are plenty of people out there looking for a job. So that's a lie. The big problem is that. And you keep spending it on independence and not where it's needed. That's the problem. She said, this is consistent with large-scale projects of this nature globally. Bollocks, stop inventing stuff. It's not true. And that the contracts are currently being finalised and the contract award is scheduled to take place thereafter. Again, more bollocks. All the time. Constantly. Spewing out. Vomitless shite. Because it's none of it's true. It's money. Pure and simple. And you haven't got any because you keep spending it on other stuff. Independence. She said there are some things like Brexit, inflation, cost of living crisis, which were not within my gifts. No? Bollocks. Brexit's got nothing to do with it. What on earth has Brexit got to do with building a prison? Nothing at all. You just use it as an excuse. Cost of living crisis? What's that got to do with anything? It's cheap, surely, to just build a block of cells and put people in it. Why are you making it so expensive? Um, and she's saying, and uh, was it inflation? Fine, inflation's not in your gift, I grant you that, but inflation currently is 4%. It's not the worst it's been, is it? Keep going. Come on, come up with some new excuses. Uh, Constance did not confirm how much the new increased cost was estimated to be. Guarantee she knows it, though. Uh, and when the project was initially announced, it was estimated that it would cost £52 million. It's currently standing at 140 It's going to go over 200 easily. And by the time it's finished, half a billion pounds to house 200 people unbelievable but that's what you get you keep voting these idiots in and they're wasting your money just think that extra 300 million 400 million whatever it is over cost imagine how much good that would do in say the nhs how many hospitals could you build for 400 million 
two, three hospitals, easy. Possibly a fourth if you've got a little couple of little ones. And instead, waste. Waste and incompetence and ineptness from a bunch of useless, excuse-seeking tossers. Coming up. Westminster's fault you can't build a prison. Blaming Brexit. Can't build a prison. The Germans marched into Poland in 1939. Oh, sod off, Angela Constance. You stupid, ignorant woman. Don't take people for fools because people aren't stupid. They're certainly not as stupid as you think them. They're not as stupid as the SNP, although their voters are. Grant you that. I mean, if you're an SNP voter, you must be fairly stupid because you keep voting SNP despite being shown how bad they are. Yeah, but I'm still going to vote for them. Oh, morons. And that's what happens. This is what happens when you vote idiots into control everything. They screw everything up without fail every single time. Anyway, we should ruminate on that. The only good side is that the uh, the crims will have to stay in their shitty conditions, wouldn't it? A bit longer instead of getting the nice Pontins place that they're going to. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And I will speak to you later.